Okay, so I'm doing a video recording of this because it happened yesterday and there's just no way to convey the craziness in um, a status update. So I thought that I would tell you. I was at Brentwood Mall with my friend Julie. We're in bootlegger, she's looking for jeans. And I noticed this guy, he's like 40, a little bit overweight, wearing a toque. Uh, I didn't think anything of it until uh, we left bootlegger, we walked a little further down the mall, we stopped at a set of tables, Julie's going through her bags, and I see the guy walk past. And then I see him come back towards us. And he's staring at me and walking. And I'm like, okay, this is weird, a little bit creepy. I'm like, turn away from him a bit. I'm like, Julie, do you, do you? And I glance up and now he's stopped and he's staring directly at me. So now I know it's weird. I'm like, okay, Julie, do you see, do you see that guy? And she glances over, she's like, the guy in the juke. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, the guy that's waving? I'm like waving and I look over he's waving I'm like um no I don't know why he's waving and so now we're both staring at him going is he waving at us what's going on and he does the come hither motion with his hand and we're like this is, I don't know what's happening like this is so weird and so I start thinking he, he must there must be someone behind me like I'm just I'm just in his way he's waving at someone else because this is crazy but I'm freaked out so Julie let's go so we start walking away from him and turn around and notice he's walking like following us again so we speed up we duck into the nearest store which is sport check and we hide behind the biggest rack we could find like a bunch of 13 year old girls or something, but I was terrified. So we duck behind the rack and we're just like huddled, looking at each other going, I can't, it's so, so scary, is he gonna kill me? I don't know what's going on. And uh, Julie does one of these like back arches and she's looking out, she's like, oh, I can't see him, I think we're good, I think we're okay. So after a few minutes, we come out and she's got her back to the entrance of the store and I'm facing the entrance and we're kind of just like, whew, okay, good, we're safe. And then I see him and Julie's going, boy, oh boy, I just cannot believe how crazy he is. And I'm like, shh, 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 because he's coming towards me and he, she, Julie can't see. She's like, that was so weird how he started doing this. I'm like, shh, Julie, Julie, it's too late. And the guy comes right up to me and like holds out his hand and goes, do I know you? And I'm like, mm, no. He goes, I thought I knew you. Are you Polish? That's a shame. You are very... And gestures to my chest. Beautiful. I'm like, oh, I'm um, married, so... um. <laughs> so, you have power. Pardon me? You have the power. Okay, I don't, I don't understand, but um, I'm married. Because marriage means nothing in Canada. My God, it means something to me. And I just sort of start hiding behind the power of the ring. And he goes, oh, do I bother you? Okay. And he turns around and leaves. And Julie and I are left completely drum dumbstruck in sport check, like holding each other with fear. Just like, what happened? So I think that he was looking for Polish girls to murder. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I uh, am not Polish, so he had to be on his merry way, but I am never going back to Brentwood Mall, ever.